Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to my psychic reading on Jenny Rivera, the Spanish or Latin American singer, songwriter. Um, thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the space for when you pass reading. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you, amen, amen, amen. Thank you for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions. Thank you for protecting the energy, thoughts, minds, and emotions of those watching this video. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you for allowing Jenny Rivera to come through. Thank you for making this space a sacred space for her to feel comfortable to come through. Jenny, we allow you to come through and share your story, share your experiences, share any messages you have. May you go back to the light from where you came once this reading is over. And we invite you here in love and light. Amen, amen, and amen. So I'm here to do a reading on Jenny Rivera. Um, quick backstory, I literally just got back from the gym. And um, usually at the gym, they have like a whole bunch of TVs playing different things. And a lot of times they have Spanish or Mexican, Latin American uh, channel playing. And they were talking about Jenny Rivera. And they were talking about it literally the whole time that I was there. I usually I do 30 minutes of cardio and leave. So I don't know, something in my soul told me like, I think I need to read Jenny Rivera. Like I felt like I think it was either her son or someone was talking about her and he seemed so somber and sad. And I was like, and when I heard her, I, she was like, I, I want you to read me. I have a message for my son or, or, or a message for someone. So I was like, okay, Jenny. Um, and when I started going in my head, I was like, okay, like, am I going to read her now when I get back from the gym? Should I wait? Like what? And then she was just kind of like, okay, like, cause she, I'm, I'm a little bit scatterbrained. She was just like, read me as soon as you get home. So here I am. A, ready to read her. I'm actually not familiar with her music. I don't, you know, listen to her music or anything like that, but I am familiar with her passing. And when she passed, and it was very tragic. I think she did pass away in an air accident. So we just allow her to come through. Thank you for listening and watching. Hi, the underdog tarot. Hi, cutie. How are you today? You look so beautiful as always. I'm good. Thank you for asking the underdog tarot. Please, if you're new to my Twitch channel, by the way, make sure you sub follow, subscribe, also, follow me on my other social media pages, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, of course, my Twitch. This is a Twitch live stream currently. My Vimeo, as well as my podcast, which is getting a lot of good reviews. Thank you all on Apple, Google, Anchor, Breaker, and Spotify. <clears throat> so thank you for listening and watching. And let's get right into the reading. By the way, if you want a reading from me, a personal reading, check out my website, lamartownsintero.com. This is my website, so once you've reached this page, you know you're on the right page. You can go right to the store section to directly purchase your reading from my website. I do all different types of readings. I do birth chart readings, psychic tarot readings, past life readings. I also make jewelry. I currently have evil eye necklaces on sale. Um, I also sell, or I do candles. I do tarot classes as well and dream interpretation readings. I also sew and make scarves. And I sell black soap, which is a really, really good soap for eczema, dry skin and things of that nature. So let's get right into the reading. My uncle has just died and you have kept me going. So thank you for your videos. Oh, I'm so sorry about your uncle, but thank you for listening and watching. Sending a prayer, Lord, please heal and protect Thunder, the underdog tarot as she goes through her transition, just as her uncle is going through his transition as well. May they all find the light and live in love and light. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, amen. See, I knew there was a reason I had to do this reading. I knew there was a reason Jenny wanted me to read her. Why can't I give you bits, hon? I wanted to send you some. I don't know. Is that a thing on Twitch? I'm still, like, trying to figure Twitch out. So I need to figure out what bits actually are, and I'll get back to you on that. But, okay, thank you for letting me know that, because I'm still learning Twitch. I'm transitioning kind of from YouTube to Twitch. Because I like going live on Twitch more. Anyway. So Jenny doesn't actually want me to pull cards. She wants me to channel. So we're not going to pull cards. She wants me to pull um, an oracle card for the beginning of the video. And then from there, I think she just wants me to channel the energy. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Yeah, and we can send you money. Oh, okay. Um, the bits on... on, um, on okay, let, let me process this in my mind. Bits on... Twitch. I like kind of rhymes. Bits on Twitch. Or that sounds like a lyric of some sort. Bits on Twitch. I like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull a card for Jenny Rivera. Jenny, what message do you have? 
she's automatically showing me like lights, like stage lights and being center stage. Like, I think she really enjoyed that process. Um, I don't think she too much enjoyed the business process of it, the meetings. <clears throat> but she liked being on stage. She liked the audience. Oh, Doda Kagram is the card that she got. Doda Kagram. Let's read what it says. Are your allergies sucking, by the way? My allergies are, like, so horrible right now. I can't wait for allergy season to be over. Okay, Dodeca Graham. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Okay, Jenny, where is this? Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> she says I'm impatient. I am a little, I know I need to work on that. Okay, it says, let me hold it up while I read it. It says, Dota Kagram is a powerful star symbol with its 12 facets. The Dota Kagram represents the 12 traditional signs of the zodiac. That kind of makes me think that for some reason, Jenny had a lot of pressure. You had a lot of pressure on your back or you had a lot of pressure on you, not just in terms of industry and business, but also maybe your family. Maybe you were carrying a lot of family members, you know, financially or things like that. Maybe you were employing them even. She says, yes, I did. But 12 Olympic gods and goddesses, completion and wholeness and ascendance. Oh, wow. Okay. Ascendance is interesting. Okay. In Christianity, it represents the number of Jesus' disciples. Wow. Interesting. The dodecagram in relation to the traditional zodiac further divides the 12 zodiac signs into four subsections detailing the natural elements of earth, air, fire, and water. When it appears in your reading, you are asked, you know what? This may sound morbid, but she's kind of bringing it to my attention that she passed away within the energy of all the four elements. She was in the air. I don't know if the plane burst into fire, uh, God forbid, most likely landed on Earth, or there's some connection to Earth and water. I don't know why she's, but she's making it me think it's all connected in a way that it was meant to happen, or she was meant to transcend. Um, I wonder what your zodiacs are. Her zodiac sign is. All right. Um, it says when it appears in your reading, you are asked to seek balance in all endeavors. This makes me think that she was also imbalanced by the time she passed away. Um, what has caused you to feel out of balance? The message here is very clear. Seek out and maintain balance in all facets of your life. Yeah, that makes sense. Cause I, okay. From eating a balanced diet to getting a healthy amount of exercise to balancing work in, with play. You may be surprised how issues resolve themselves once you seek out and maintain balance. So, okay, what I'm getting from this is that I think she didn't have much balance in terms of her life by the time she passed away. I think it was a lot of work, work, work. Once again, working to feed others, family, business people, business associates, associates, working to make everyone else happy but herself. I think by the time she passed away, she wanted to travel. She wanted to just relax. But I think in a weird way, transitioning or passing kind of gave her a way out of the imbalance that it seems her career maybe, her purpose had started to cause her because her purpose, I do feel, was singing. All right. I'm hosting your channel also, honey, so my followers can come to your channel also. Oh, thank you, the underdog tarot. That's awesome. I'm going to follow you. I didn't know you have your own channel on here. The underdog tarot. I'm gonna, well, I can't follow you right now. It's, you know, disrespectful to Jenny, but I will follow you. Um, once this reading is over, Jenny, come through. What do you have to say? She's saying she liked the beach. She liked cartoons. 
I don't know why she's showing me Dexter's laboratory or something along those lines. Um, she's saying I was a simple girl. I was a simple woman. Um, I like to eat, she says. She says I liked spicy foods. I liked salty foods. That was my comfort, she says. Chips, you know, um, I'll look, she's showing me kind of like tortilla-ish chips with like salsas, like dips and things like that. She's saying, I don't, she's saying I would eat or like stuff, stuff myself sometimes before performing as a way to calm my nerves. But she's also saying that they also got on me, they would get on me about my weight. Jenny, you're gaining too much weight. Jenny, you need to lose weight. She's also saying they would kind of dangle deals or dangle sponsors in front of my face to get me to lose weight. You know, if you just lost 15 pounds, Jenny, we could get you this, you know, Jenny Craig deal or get you this deal or that deal. But she's saying food was comfort. Food I associated with family, good food. She's also saying I like to enjoy food. She liked to enjoy quality meals. She liked to enjoy quality, which makes me think either you're a Taurus or you have Taurus energy in you. She's saying I liked being on stage. I liked pearls. I liked, you know, jewelry. I liked my life, she says. I liked what I did. Um, but she's saying there was a shady side as well. Family, she says. Partners, business partners, and my ears kind of ringing now. Ooh. Um... A lot of people in her ear. Sometimes she just wanted to get away. I think I I see her in meetings and she's just exhausted. Like, you know, like a work day of meetings was exhausting. Having so many people talk to you and in your ear and you have so much to think about and you, you know, you barely have time to think because you're on to the next thing, the next gig. She's showing me the a, like a, the, a plane falling or the plane falling, like literally falling from the sky. So I don't know if she's saying if this is like a metaphor for saying she had a fear of planes, a fear of flying, or if this is how it actually happened. It also kind of, she's giving me the energy of it, it, it reminding me of, you know how like you go over a bump in the road or like, you just go up really high and then you come down in your stomach or the butterflies seem to go up or something like that. And then they go back down, like they drop back down in your stomach, in the pit of your stomach. It's kind of like she's giving me that feeling. So I don't know if this is what she felt while she was, while, while it was happening, while the plane was crashing or falling or whatever, but she's also kind of giving me the, the energy that she's had dreams of this before. She's had experiences like this before where maybe she dreams she's falling or falling in the sky or like, I don't know why I literally see her like just walking and tripping and like having a mini panic moment or almost falling off a ledge and like panicking. Like there's something where... She's saying there were signs that, like, something like this was going to happen to me. She's saying there were also, like, and she's saying in my own personal life, these were signs that, you know, something was going to happen, you know, in terms of falling, the sky, you know, um, not being able to land, not being able to catch my feet, she's saying. Um, but, like, she's also saying that this was, like, kind of synonymous in my own life, like, She's saying there were so many people around me and, you know, I felt protected in that sense, but at the end of the day, it would just be me alone to face my problems, my demons. She's saying there were, there were no publicists, but, you know, there's no um, executives, there's no decision makers when it comes to that. It's like, I'm the CEO of all of that. And she's saying at the time of her passing, that all of that wasn't being taken into account in terms of business. She was overworking herself. Um, I 
kind of feel like the energy, though, of losing balance. So I don't know if she frequently lost her balance, if she frequently had, like, vertigo or something like that. But she's saying these were all signs that, like, you know, I needed to watch myself. And um, she's saying I believed in astrology. I believed in psychics. But I was also fearful because I would hear it would I would hear things that would reinforce it, you know, like, oh, watch out in planes, you know, like or, you know, watch out in the air. Be careful in the air. Like there would be little things I would hear from, you know, psychics, astrologers and stuff like that that would like scare me and reinforce me and cause that feeling in my stomach, you know, to happen again. You know, but like she's saying, of course, once everything happened, it made sense. She's kind of saying that that was maybe one of the last things she thought about before she passed away. Like someone told me this was going to happen or something told me this was going to happen. Like I knew it kind of thing. But of course it was too late. She's showing me her praying. Praying like right before I guess the plane crashed. I just see her praying. Like literally maybe seconds before. Like, I just see her praying. But then I see her spirit kind of lift up and go up into the sky. So I do hear the prayer. Whatever she prayed for was answered. I'm thinking is she's giving me the energy. I just see no prayed to God. Like, I prayed to maybe a saint, maybe St. Saint Guadalupe or something like that. She's saying, I knew it. I knew what was going to happen. I knew it, she says. I couldn't escape it. She's saying there was nothing I could do. Hmm. She's saying my poppy, but when she says it, she makes me think maybe it's her father, but it could be someone she gave like a pet name, Poppy. I think this is someone who still mourns. There's a lot of people who mourn, but she's showing me specifically, it seems like a young boy or a young man. Seems like the young man I was talking about earlier. She's saying, don't cry. She's kind of like caressing him, caressing his face. Um, sitting at, on his by his bedside. I see whoever this young man is, young child is. I don't know if she had a, a, a child who was a, a boy, who's now maybe in his like late teens, early 20s, maybe on late 20s. Um, maybe 30s, early 30s, but there's something about he can't get over it. Why did it have to happen? Why, why, why? I mean, I hear dad. So maybe is her father still alive? Maybe it's the father of her children. Maybe he's a dad now. I'm not sure what that means. But she keeps saying dad, dad, dad. She's she's saying that that pit in the stomach feeling she felt either before she boarded the plane, when she boarded the plane, or earlier that day before she passed. Like I had that feeling. She's saying the whole time that feeling was trying to tell me to pay attention. She's saying it was very strong that day too. That feeling that in my stomach. She keeps pointing me to her stomach, her solar plexus, like. She's saying, I just had a feeling there, she says. Of course, she's showing me now that she's with ancestors and spirit guides. Um... I think there may be some sort of second coming in her in um, another young woman. I don't know if this young woman is in her family. Whoever she is, she's going to be a singer. She's not in her family. She could publicly show love, adoration, support for Jenny Rivera. 
Like Jenny Rivera was one of my idols. I love her, you know, that kind of thing. She's speaking Spanish now. I un poquito español. <laughs> Lo siento. She's showing me a flower. A flower blossoming. And in the middle of the flower, it seems like there's the sun or maybe the solar plexus again. She's saying whoever it is that she either reincarnates through. And when I say reincarnate, I'm not saying like she's going to live this life as this person. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think she kind of reincarnates in terms of just coming through this person, like embodying this person or this person embodying her. But it's literally Jenny Rivera's energy or spirit. Um, she's gonna, this, Jenny Rivera's gonna come through whoever this young woman is I see that's gonna be a singer is gonna come through their solar plexus because that's how she transitioned her past or that was some sort of connection to her passing or transition. I don't think, I think there was something about her purpose and solar plexus. But it was blocked by the time she passed away or there was something going on with it. I'm wondering if she was actually having stomach issues or issues in that area of her body. But um, it's like coming through this young woman. And I just see something. I just I don't see her actual face. I just get her side profile. She looks Latino. She looks Spanish. She looks light skinned. But she has something about her hair. Big, thick, like long hair. Um, and it like kind of changes maybe throughout her career she just likes to switch it up but it's like kind of brown brunette dark darkish kind of amy winehouse vibe a little bit maybe a bit more polished love amy by the way um jenny rivera coming through this young woman's solar plexus is a way of jenny rivera healing her own solar plexus all right and I think I'm going to end there. I think she wants me to end there on that note. Is there anything else you want to say? She's saying pay attention. She's saying wear amulets, wear protective amulets. Um, she's saying be spiritual. Um, be pragmatic. I love my family, I love my children, I love my supporters. She says hasta luego. What does that mean? What does that mean? Let me look that up really quickly, Jenny. Hold on. Hasta luego. I feel like I know what it means, but... Let's see. See you later. Oh, that's really cute. Okay. Hasta luego. Hasta luego, Jenny. Thank you so much for coming through. We send you back to the light with love and light. In Jesus' name. Oh. All right, you guys. Thank you for listening and watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. I will see you in the next one. Make sure you... Wow, we were, oh, I thought it said 32 minutes. I was like, wow, we were on here for a long time. Um, make sure you follow me on my Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, YouTube. Thank you, Thund The Underdog Tarot, for being here. Thank you for your support, and I will see you all in the next video. Love and light.